While Giannis Antetokounmpo is dominating the NBA with his amazing all-around play, it's easy to forget the fact that he has two other brothers in the league as well. Kosas Antetokounmpo is on a two-way contract with the Los Angeles Lakers, while Thanasis is actually on the Bucks with Giannis on a two-year, $3.1 million contract. We don't hear too much about these players as Giannis takes up all the spotlight, but I do think one specific brother can be a really good player in the NBA. We'll go over where Kosas and Thanasis and Tinegupo are right now, how each of their development is going, and what their respective potential and outlook is on their NBA careers in this video. So, let's start with Kosas and Tenekumpo. As I said before, Kosas is on a two-way contract with the Los Angeles Lakers, and he saw minutes with the big team during the preseason. He showed flashes of being a versatile two-way player, and he has incredible length that can make him a terrific rim protector in the NBA. However, he is still very raw at only 22 years old, and he is currently trying to further develop his game in the G League. With the South Bay Lakers, Kosas is averaging 13.3 points, 6.8 rebounds, 1 assist, 0.9 steals, and 0.5 blocks in only 24.6 minutes per game. He's shooting an efficient 60.7% from the field, but a pretty inefficient 57.6% from the free throw line. He's seen an increase in his field goal percentage compared to last season in the G League, as it seems like he's really focusing on being a good finisher at the rim. And this makes sense, as it doesn't seem like, at least for now, his jump shot is any good. He still has not hit a single three-pointer yet this season, and he really needs to add a jump shot if he wants to become a strong two-way player. But, he has been an excellent pick-and-roll finisher, as he uses his length and athleticism to rise above defenders for easy baskets. I also notice he's gotten much better compared to last season on the timing of when to roll to the rim, and he's been more active on cuts as well. Off the ball movement will be critical for Kosas if he can't develop a consistent jump shot, and it looks like he's improving in this area. So it definitely looks like Kosas is making some strides in his game this season, but the lack of jump shot is a glaring weakness in his game. And this is pretty surprising given the fact that he showed flashes of a decent form last season, but it looks like it just completely abandoned him. Of course, he is still very young and shooting is arguably the easiest aspect of the game a player can improve on, so I definitely still have faith he will eventually develop a decent shot. What's also concerning is that his handle looks pretty erratic, and he needs to be able to handle the ball better when on the break or in the post. He is sometimes sloppy with the ball, and this has led to careless turnovers with averaging 2.5 per game. He needs to try to make his dribble lower and keep the ball closer to his body, as I think this will definitely help him avoid getting pickpocketed so often. If he can improve upon his weaknesses, he could become a legitimate two-way player in the NBA who can play and defend multiple positions, and I actually think he could potentially be a good small ball 5 option. Right now, he currently reminds me of a young and poor man Serge Ibaka, as back when Ibaka came into the NBA, he didn't have much of a jump shot but showed flashes of becoming a great defender in the league. Of course, I'm just saying their play style is similar, and I'm not saying Kosas will ever turn out to be anywhere near as good as Ibaka, who is a Defensive Player of the Year award recipient. But if he can develop a jump shot, Kosas can develop into a similar player that Ibaka is today. Now, here's a quick list recap of Kosas' strengths, weaknesses, and potential in the NBA. And before we get into what happened to Thanasis and Tenekumpo, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to Seeky for sponsoring this video. As you guys probably know, Seeky is a ticket app that's a confusion out of buying tickets, and using the app, you can see which ticket is a good deal which is a green dot, or a bad deal which has a red dot for any sporting event or concert. It's an easy to navigate app, and it's a must have for anyone who is interested in attending an event. Use my discount code the T-Ball to get $20 off your first purchase when you first sign up for an account, and I'll leave a link to the site where you can sign up or you can also download the app on your phone as well and use my code to get a discount there. Now, let's take a look at what happened to Thanasis and Tenekumpo. So he recently signed a two-year deal with the Bucks this past offseason and he hasn't seen many minutes due to injury. He's played in four games for the Bucks this season, all in garbage time, 
and in those games he's averaged 3.5 points in 6.3 minutes per game. He's been assigned to the G League, but as I said before, his injury has prevented him from playing much there as well. So let's be honest, I think the only reason why he is still in the NBA is because of his brother Giannis. The Gnosis is 27 years old, so it's not like he's a young project like Kosas, and the team that signed him was the Bucks. The Bucks likely wanted to sign the Gnosis to provide Giannis an incentive to stay in Milwaukee once his contract is up, and that should hopefully help swing him to stay. However, the Gnosis is just not a contributor at all for the Bucks on the court, as he is just a garbage time guy who isn't really good at any one aspect of the game. But he has provided some good energy cheering his teammates from the bench, so at least that's good for the team. I'd imagine that he'll continue to stay with the Bucks until Giannis re-signs with Milwaukee on a new contract, but after that, he's probably out of the NBA. Now, here's a quick recap of Thanatos' strengths, weaknesses, and potential in the NBA. Overall, I think it's pretty obvious to see which Antetokounmpo brother besides Giannis has the most potential to become a solid NBA player. And that's Alex Antetokounmpo, who is currently a senior at Dominican High School in Milwaukee. He has crazy length and mobility, and I think he's going to become a solid NBA player in the future. But that's for a whole other video, and if you want me to do an analysis on Alex Antetokounmpo's game, let me know down in the comments below. But out of Kosas and Denasis, Kosas looks like he can be a legitimate NBA player with more development. He does need to polish up his game more with a tighter handle and improvement in his jump shot, but he has all the tools to become a terrific defender in the NBA. Do I think any of the Tenkumbo brothers will end up being better than Giannis or coming anywhere close? Probably not, but if Kosas can end up becoming a decent rotational player, that would be a huge win for any team who has him and in this case that would be the Los Angeles Lakers. But we'll see what happens with each brother and I'll definitely be keeping an eye out on the development of each brother. So that's a wrap, thank you all for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video and want to see more daily NBA content just like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe and also be sure to turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on my newest video will be coming out. Also be sure to follow me on Instagram and hit me up if you want to talk about basketball or business. Just drop a comment down below on my photo or DM me and I'll definitely try to get back to most of you guys there. Drop a comment down below on what you think Kosas and Thanasis' potential is in the NBA. I'm definitely interested to see what you guys have to say and I'll definitely try to get back to most of you guys there as well. So with all that being said, once again, thank you all for watching and hopefully I will see you guys soon for the next video. Peace.